200 meters from the Poznań Town Hall and right next to the parish church, which is famous for its magnificent Ladegast organ, there stands a small historical house. Here, for over 20 years, Henryk Wieniawski Musical Society has had its seat. The patron himself might have taken a walk or a drive here during one of his five visits to the capital of the Wielkopolska province. The origins of the society go back to the year 1885. Established five years after Wieniawski's death, it was originally called the Polish Singing Society. The role it played in the times of the Prussian occupation cannot be overestimated as it cultivated Polish song, music and speech. Today it groups artists, musicians and music lovers, people who keep music in their hearts. The line of chairmen and women of the society includes such names as Bolesław Dębiński, Tadeusz Szeligowski, Edward Statkiewicz, Stefan Stuligros, Mieczysław Dondajewski or Jadwiga Kaliszewska. Since 1997, it has been headed by Andrzej Witowski. The Wieniawski Society is famous in Poland and abroad as the organizer of international competitions of its patron's name, violin, violin maker and composer. Until today, 27 have been held. 11 violin, 9 violin maker, and 7 composer competitions. The latter two also enjoy a tremendous amount of interest and international recognition. Henryk Wieniawski Musical Society is a promoter and organizer of musical events. This range of activity was vigorously initiated on a nationwide scale by the untimely deceased Zdzisław Dworzecki. His efforts brought to Poland for one concert only, the Gustav Mahler Jugend Orchestra with Claudia Abado. Other concerts produced by the society featured such artists as Arkady Volodos, Wynton Marsalis, the Academy of St. Martin in the field or Collegium Vocale conducted by Philippe Herewege. Two years ago, a festival of Arvo Pertz music was attended by the composer himself. For three years, the society has produced Malta International Theatre Festival. Last year, we were entrusted a demanding task of organization of the cultural program for the Polish exhibition at Expo in Hanover. The program's main attraction was Henryk Mikołaj Górecki and the opening performance of his Cantata o Świętym Wojciechu. Henryk Wieniawski Musical Society collaborates with the Academy of Music on preparation of national competitions for violin, viola, cello and double bass players. For over 20 years, the society has been running a research program on the life and work of its patron. Research carried out with unusual involvement by the much regretted Edmund Grabkowski, for many years the chairman of the society and Wieniawski competitions, has filled numerous gaps in our knowledge of the patron. It also gave us a number of books, archives which comprise several thousand entries, as well as the addition of Henrik Wieniawski's collected works. Initiated a few years ago, the series will see new works added in 2001. The year 2001 shall bring subsequent editions of the oldest violin competition in the world and the Jubilee 10th edition of the Violin Maker competition, 
which is also one of the oldest and most prestigious in the world. A competition whose life and soul was the late Professor Włodzimierz Kamiński, an artist, violin maker and teacher. The year 2001 is a challenge to our society. Just a few days ago, I watched the first video cassettes sent in by the candidates. We are excited. It's only the beginning, and they had already come from all corners of the world. This year we'll see the 10th edition of the Violin Maker competition and the 12th edition of the International Violin Competition. Both are very important, although the latter enjoys a more prominent standing. I hope these cassettes contain names of future prize winners of the competition. I also hope they will make a link to the secret weapon of our competition, the famous names the event once hosted. Jeanette Neve, David Oistrak, Henry Timjanka, Ida Handel, a member of the jury at one of the competitions, Wanda Wilkomirska, Julian Sitkowiecki, Igor Oistrak, Charles Traeger, the first American prize winner, Evgeny Bushkov, and several others. Everyday arduous work is on at our office. We want to maintain all the benefits of the previous competitions and to add new elements, ones that are worthy of our times. Thus, there is the program a truly international one, containing a nice element, a piece specially commissioned with Krzysztof Meyer. There are Poloneses performed with an orchestra, and there are the jury members, the strict arbiters of talent. The names of Shlomo Mintz, the chairman of the jury, Dorothy Delay, Boris Belkin, Hermann Krebers or Wanda Wilkomirska are the best credentials, sure signs of objectiveness and independence of the body. Then there are us, the organizers. We have to make sure everything goes as swiftly as possible in this music-loving, hospitable town. It is perhaps easier than getting on stage and making a lasting impression. We hope that we'll be able to attract outstanding personalities. We are convinced that prize winners of our competition will find their way to stages of the world and that this will be the best promotion of our competition. We are impatiently waiting for the logo and the signature tune of the competition. It is a part of Wieniawski's Polonaise. When it does sound, it'll be time to begin. Cordially welcome, just to remind you, October 2001, Poland, Poznań, the University Auditorium and an expert music-loving audience.